Hey everyone, welcome to our GeForce coverage at E3 2019. My name is Shanna Morris and I'm joined by Powell to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. It looks amazing. Tell me a little bit about the storyline on this game. In the game you're playing as V, and V is a mercenary who tries to make living in Night City. And as you could have seen in the CGI that we have shown, there are circumstances that happen around V that make Johnny Silverhand appear in V's life, and then everything gets way more complicated, and that moves story forward. Well, I would love to talk a little bit about the Johnny character, who is portrayed by Keanu Reeves. Can you tell me how you got Keanu on board for this project? We have actually started talking to him like a long time ago. It was like almost a year or something. He has a history of playing strong characters in like cyberpunk settings. So we're like, yeah, he fits really well to this role. So basically we got him into the game, he approved the model of the character. He plays a major role in the game and as V you can develop this relationship in very different ways. Were you inspired by any of his previous work like Matrix or Johnny Mnemonic? <laughs> oh, I mean, you saw the demo, right? So yep. there was one moment when we show off the nanowire, that's like straight from Johnny Mnemonic. There's like bajillion references. The most important ones are the movie references, I think. So we would go for like Blade Runner obviously. Then you know you have Akira, then you have Cowboy Bebo. Then you know there's lots of books like books from Gibson for instance, books that are like kind of the ground of cyberpunk as it is. But of course there are also game references like in terms of games I think the closest to me is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I was absolutely captivated by the Bloodlines and by the game itself. It had a lot of awesome elements and in cyberpunk we're doing lots of things like that. You can pick your life paths, you can create different builds that put you into different branches. We have branches storylines and actually lots of things change depending on your choices so you can see all those references there and you also have like different not necessarily classes but you can yeah. customize your characters in so many different ways correct yes like we call it a fluid class system so basically our class system allows you to pick skills and attributes from completely different trees you can mix and match so basically player can do weirdest possible character he wants and it still works because our job as a quest designer is to make sure that every quest is beatable in some way Way, no matter what weird combination you have figured out for yourself and it's really fun actually figuring those out. So there's a lot of different ways that you can actually beat the different missions and it all just kind of depends on what kind of character you choose to play. Exactly and in The Witcher 3 we sort of did like a branching storyline in open world. In this game we are taking non-linear game in open world and adding branching gameplay so we can actually have the different play styles and you have completely different paths depending what you did. You can actually go through the game and use non-lethal ways of mm, beating the missions. Absolutely, Can yeah. you do that through the whole thing? Yes, absolutely. So this is one of the changes that we have done actually from the previous year. You can do it in every possible quest. All the main quests, side quests, minor quests, and street stories are supporting that. So you don't have to kill anybody. Now I would like to ask you a little bit about the environment. There's tons of awesome oh. lighting and colors and everything. How are you implementing ray tracing in this game? So there's a few ways uh, we are using it. We just want to make sure that the city really looks cyberpunk so that it reflects nicely in like puddles because the realistic look of the game is our goal. Well you definitely have me interested. <laughs> <laughs> when does the game come out? The games came out at the 16th of April 2020. Thank you so much Powell for talking to me about Cyberpunk 2077. I loved it. it was awesome. Thank you everyone for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below on any of our E3 2019 coverage for your chance to win one of our awesome prizes including a GeForce RTX 20 series graphics card or a 65 inch big format gaming display. I'm Shannon Morse. Thanks for watching.